All right, so we're here with uh, Detective uh, Dan German. He's another one of our EVOC constructors this year. Um, so we're gonna talk about the push bumpers and why we use them. So Dan, you wanna talk, tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Uh, my name is Detective Dan German. I've been with the Bellevue Police Department for oh, about 11 years now. Uh, started as a law enforcement officer about 14 years ago. Uh, I'm a detective with the Special Victims Unit is my main job. Um, and then I'm an EVOC instructor on the side. Um, train our department as well as new recruits uh, coming through our uh, Sarpy Douglas Law Enforcement Academy as well. Okay, um, so uh, Detective German is going to talk about uh, uh, why we use uh, the push bumpers. Yeah, so the push bumpers are a, a great tool that we have. Um, most of our cruisers are equipped with them. Um, essentially, we use them uh, to get vehicles off the roadway, traffic hazards, especially in busy, busy intersections, um, keeps the traffic flowing. Um, we're able to push it off, you know, a block or two off the roadway, and then that way we can get we can get traffic back up and going. So when prior to doing a, a push bumper push uh, for a vehicle off the roadway, the officer is going to have the driver of the vehicle sign a release of liability waiver form um, prior to the push. Also, the officer prior to the push is going to explain to the driver uh, the, the location of where the officer wants that vehicle pushed off the roadway. The driver is going to be asked to put their hazard lights on as well as their headlights. The officer will instruct the driver to first place the vehicle in neutral, keep their foot off of the brake when they're ready to be pushed while the push is actually underway. Drivers should note that there may be a loss of power to the vehicle, uh, which may affect the power steering and the brake function of the vehicle, which the officer will also explain to the driver of the vehicle. The officer will relay some type of signal uh, for the driver to show, whether it be a thumbs up or a wave, that they're, that the not only the driver is ready for the push, that also the officer is also ready to push as well. The officer will make slight contact to the rear bumper of the vehicle um, prior to the push. Once the officer begins the push, the officer will make extremely slow contact and make sure they check for proper alignment on the bumper. Then the officer will operate the, operate the patrol vehicle at a slow speed during the push and will then, will then disengage the push once the disabled vehicle is off the roadway to the desired location. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, so in a nutshell, that's why we use the push bumpers. Again, thanks Dan, I appreciate it brother. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you.